Hello authors, welcome on Quiet Quill. Let me show you what you need to know before to use Quiet Quill. So first, let me present you your main dashboard. So when you arrive and you log in Quiet Quill, you will arrive on this page here, which is your main dashboard where you can find all your books. Here is the last book you have edited and just under is the list of your books. So uh, if you want to have another display, you click on this little icon here and you will see another display for your books. On the right panel here, if you click on this little avatar here, you will see your account information. Here you have your billing and in profile you have your account email and stuff. So let's click on billing. On billing you will see all your projects, the storage you have used and also the remaining credits you have for Quill 1 and Quill 2 here. The difference between Quill 1 and Quill 2 is the quality of the writing. So you can see here the credit you have used and just under you have the magic scan which is the plagiarism checker. All right, and if you click on profile, you will see your information here and your email address and your password. So everything here, you can edit it on the right. So let's come back on the main dashboard. Just next to your account information, you have this little icon for the filter. If you click on it, you will have the light mode. So you have light and dark mode here. You will have also the font style and the font size and also a really cool feature is uh, the sound effect for when you are typing. So let's come back with the light mode. Another thing, if you want to delete a book, you just have to click on the three dot here and then click delete. All right, now that you have the basic, let's open one book together. So I click on it. When you arrive on your book project, on the top you will have a menu where you can find the outline here, the writing part, your research and the setting. So let's start with the writing section. Okay, on the left you will have the name of your book and the outline of your book. So if you click on one folder, you will open one chapter and inside each chapter you will find all your files, all right? In the middle, it's your working area. And on the right panel, if you click on the filter icon, you can arrange your working area. So light mode to dark mode, change the font style and also the size. For me, I like to stay with the font one and the size three. And you can also add keyboard effect when you are typing. All right, so let's close this. Just under you have the chat and the information. So if you click on the chat, the chat is like your writing companion. You can ask everything related to your book. You can ask uh, some feedback. You can ask how to improve. You can ask quite quick to rewrite some parts of your book, etc., etc. So uh, use this chat as your co-authors or your co-editor. If you want to come back on the info section, you just click on it. The info section is related to the file you are working on. So here we are on the introduction. So you have the name of the file here. You have also the number of words for this file and you have the description of the file here. Let me tell you about the file status. So the file status is for you to know where you are on your book. So example, you say for this file, you are done. So you can change from draft to final. And like this, you know, this file is complete. All right, now let's go for the file attributes. You have tracing in the file attributes. First, you have the type of file. So you have introduction, foreshadow or subchapter. So in my case, this one is the introduction because it's my first file. And then you have the writing structure. So if you click on it, you will have different writing structure available. So provocative question, quotation, anecdote, problem statements, big promise, etc., etc. So you can select the writing structure you want from this. And the last one is the research linked to this file. So uh, if you click on it, you can select different researches if you have more than one. And if you don't want to link any research, you just click on none. You can also change the file name here. So if you want to say introduction to, you can confirm. So you will see it change the file name here. It will also change the name in your outline. The file description is not only the description, it is a prompt that you're gonna use to ask Quiet Quill to write about your file. If you want to rewrite the entire file here, make sure that everything here is complete. 
So you have select what type, uh, what writing structure you want. If you want any research link into that file and then make sure that the file description is exactly what you are expecting for. When everything is settled, you can click on magic write and then it will rewrite the entire file here. Under quill write, you have the plagiarism checker. If you want to check if this file have issue with plagiarism, just click on plagiarism checker and then it will analyze. So let's do it together. You will see this message scanning file now, and then you will see your score here. So here have zero, so it's the best score you can get. This look unique, good job. All right. If you want to change the writing style of your file, or if you want to change from quill one to quill two, Next to the info icon, you click right here and then you will see Quill 1 and Quill 2. In Quill 1, you will have the writing style you want and Quill 2, you will have different writer style. Next to the writing style, you have the best feature for people who want to focus. So now that you know everything for the writing part, let's check together the outline section. In the outline section, you still have the chat where you can talk with Quiet Quill to get more ideas for your outline. So let me explain you a bit. This little icon here is the file icon and this folder icon is for the chapters. If you want to see what inside the chapter, you just click on the little arrow here and inside you will see the file related to this chapter. And if you want to rearrange the file order, you can just click here and move up or down. It's the same thing for the chapter orders. You can edit the chapter name by clicking on the pen here, right? And if you want to go uh, to the chapter, you can just click on the little I here and then it will lead you to the chapter. So let's come back. It's the same thing for the file. If you want to go straight to the file and work on it, you just click on the little eyes and then it will lead you to this file. So if you click on the little arrow next to the file, you will see the type of the file. If it's a introduction, foreshadow or subchapter, you can choose the writing structure, provocative question, defining term, case study, etc. And you can also link a research here. So just click on it, select the research you want, and then that's it. If you want to add more file into your chapters, you have two options. First, you can add manually. So let's say file one, and then you confirm and then you can select the type, the structure and the research you want. Or you have the second option, you can ask Wired Quill and then click on suggest file. It's working the same for the chapters. You can add chapters manually, you can delete it here or you can ask Quired Quill to add more chapters by clicking suggest chapters. Another option is you want to have another outline, you can click on suggest outline. So let's see suggest chapters. So let's scroll down a bit. Quiet Quill suggests us two new chapters to put in the book. So we have Aulivera in ancient history and Aulivera in modern cosmetics. If you are not happy with this suggestion, you can click here to get more chapters ID. So let's click on it. All right, now we have Aulivera in traditional medicine. Okay. So let's say I want to add this chapter into my book. I just need to click on the plus icon and then it will appear here, chapter six, Aole Vera in traditional medicine. And then you can just click on the trash here to don't see anymore the suggestion. So if we click on the new chapters, we have no file inside. So for that, we can add file manually or we can ask Quiet Quill to suggest uh, topics related to this chapter. All right, now let me introduce you the research section. So we click here and then you will see all the research for your book. So the thing you need to know for the research is that everything you upload in the research is not for all your books, it's only for the book you are working on. So example here, I'm working on my book, Aole Vera. So everything that I upload in the research is only for this book and not for my other books. All right. So if you want to upload anything, you just need to click on create research. And then from here, you have two options create a note and upload file. Example, you want to upload a PDF, but Quiet Quill doesn't accept PDF. So a trick that you can do is copy past some text of your PDF and create a note. So if you click on create a note, you put the name of your note here, and then you can pass the content of the PDF here, right? 
So now let's say you have a file to upload, you just click on upload file and then here you can upload mp3, mp4 and you can also upload docs. All right. And then you just click on save and then it will process. So let's create a node together, node one. Of course, you put the name uh, related to this node and then uh, I will say hello just for the demonstration. Of course, you put uh, more than this and you click on save. And then when you click on save, it will be on warming up status. So warming up status is mean that Quiet will get the information you put and he start to learn about your research that you just upload. For the upload, do one file at a time. And then when it's complete, you will have the success status and you will see the name of your node here. If you want to delete a research, you have the three dot here, you click on it and you can delete it. All right, so now let's go on the setting section. So let's click on this gear and then you will arrive here. So on the top, you will have the name of your book. After that, you will have the cover of your book here. Next to it, you will have language, format and category. You can edit it by passing your mouse on it. So you just click and if you scroll a bit down, you can edit the book name here, the author name, the book description and the author biography. Now, the best part in the settings section, of course, is to export your book. So for that, you have choose your file type here and then you can select Word document or PDF. So let's say I want to export in Word and then I click on export now. And then I will have my book right here and it will be on your download folder if I click on it. So you open the editing and if you want to see the outline and structure, you just click here. Example, you click on your introduction. And if you want to see the table of content, you have your table of content here. All right. It's the same thing for the PDF. So you just click on PDF, export now, and then you will have your PDF in the download folder. Now, let's say you want to change the cover here. So to change your book cover, you just click on the image and then you can upload the image you want here. All right. Now that you know everything about Quiet Cool, you are ready to start your first project.